Hi, so for this one, I kind of do something a little bit different. We're here looking at uh, Here to Dance by the Veronica's. going to be a single off their Gothic Summer album. Uh, instead kind of doing like the typical guitar cover, I thought I'd like show you how I figure something out. Don't have any sheet music for this or any tab or anything. A lot of times people say, where did you get the tab? Well, often I just write it. Uh, I do not know how to play the song right now, but I can hear what key it's in. So I'm just going to start working with it and we'll see if we can catch all the parts. This is definitely like a disco flavored kind of sounding thing, uh, funk slash disco. So here we go. So first riff is pretty easy to pick in the sense that it's right out there. So that's the first part of the song. So I can tell it's an E because I really recognize that low E string and it's uh, E minor scale. I think that's looking like a carry through the whole verse here. Let's try that again. So there's a few little things that the producer cut out and that they get variations on, um, but it's mostly that same riff. And in this part, the pre-chorus is different. Not really a strong guitar part there, but I'm hearing chords, so let's see if I can figure what goes out. I'm just listening to like the logo of each one of those chords. And then that was G. The last one's kind of the trickiest, I think it's minor. I think it's B minor, so we got E minor, C, G, 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 B minor. So that sounds like it's a riff from the beginning, but it's actually more related to the pre-chorus we just heard because it sounds like the bass line is kind of lagging on a specific, or those um, E minor, C, G, B minor. So I'm gonna try to work off of that and see what I get. Um, for this chorus. That's by far the hardest thing, or it's the part in the song that would be the hardest to figure out of anything we've heard yet. I hear it's like funk scuff around the seventh fret, probably mostly E minor pentatonic. If I was, I don't know, if I was playing this in a band, I would not script out that part exactly. I would just be like, <laughs> kind of just getting the general important notes. I mean, if I was doing a, like one of my other covers, I would write it all out exactly. <laughs> It's a, it's a really great guitar part, whoever wrote that though, it, it adds a lot to the song because it doesn't follow the chords exactly. <laughs>
short song too. That was it. So I think now they've kind of kind of figured it out and they go back and play the whole thing. Um, kind of almost wish they used that original bass line more. It seems like it got it, it's so great that it should have gotten more attention and less attention put on the four chord pattern. But I didn't write the song, so here we go. <laughs> seven minutes and 53 seconds I spent with that song, so um, before it goes to another <laughs> song off the same album. Um, I've done a bunch of other Veronica's covers, so if you like them, check out the channel. Uh, not that many people have covered their actual guitar parts as recorded, so I've done a fair amount of that on some other songs, and uh, thanks for checking out this video.